What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion for Revit Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. So we are still working on our families. So the topic for our families uh, today for this video, we are going to explore the family category and part type. Actually not completely explore, but I'm just going to give you an idea how to determine the family category and determine the part type of the family okay so let's do this so what i'm gonna do is we're going to select a component family okay if you remember last time we have discussed the types of families so we have two types so we have system family and then we have component family or loadable family okay so what's the difference so if it is a system family like your duct if you click that there is no option here edit family okay so if it is a component family or loadable family like this ball bulb here if you select that there is an option here edit family so component family or loadable family is created in family editor okay so that is what we are going to do. So we are going to select this vol valve here and then edit family to open the valve in the family editor. Okay? So now, so how to adjust the category or the family category? So to adjust the category, you can find it here from the create ribbon. Okay? So you see from the properties panel, so you can see this icon here, family, category, and parameters. So it assigns the properties of a predefined family category to the component you are creating. The family parameters that are available vary depending on the selected family category. So we are going to select this icon here. Okay, so here on our family category and parameters dialog. So in the family category area here, the category can be adjusted. So right now, the category for our ball valve is pipe accessories which is the correct one so that's why i'm showing you here if ever you created a family that has a wrong family category you can change it from here okay so you can change it from the family category all right so in our family parameters area so the part type here can be adjusted so as you can see there's a part type here aside from the other options that you can also modify from here so by default the part type of my ball valve here is valve breaks into that's why every time we place a ball valve you can just pick your pipe and it will automatically breaks into that pipe and connect automatically what do i mean so if i'm going to cancel this one and then go back to my project which is this one so i'm going to select this ball valve here so right click and then create similar so if i click the pipe it will automatically breaks into that pipe and then connect automatically right so if I select this one, so if I select this button here, selection box. Okay, so by the way, the reason why it shows here a 2D lines, it's because of my detail level here. It's set to fine. So let's click that. There you go. So that's the reason why it's set to breaks into. So automatically, it breaks to your pipe here. Okay, so let me just turn on my section box and then turn it off to show the whole thing there you go okay so now going back to my family editor so let us try to change the part type by the way aside from going to your family and category uh, family category and parameters button here aside from clicking that okay you can also access the part type parameter on the properties without selecting any objects okay so you can see here the part type so there's your bulb breaks into so if i change this to normal option this one valve normal so let's select that one and then then let's load into project override okay so let's go check the 3d view i like to do it in the, in the 3d view so let's click this one 
right click and create similar so if i click this this pipe here so it's not breaking to your pipe okay so it automatically connects to the end of the pipe so that's the difference between the valve normal and valve breaks into okay actually you also have other options here for your uh, pipe accessories family so you can make that end cap inline sensor normal sensor or valve breaks into and valve normal okay so now going back to our project here so i'm going to select this time the fire damper okay so i'm going to select this damper here and then let's edit the family so let's click that one and then let's change the part type okay so the part type again no need for us to go to the family category if we only want to change the option of the part type you can just do it here on the properties so the option here is damper so it can be placed in line in a duct okay so if we are going to change the part type to attaches to it can only be placed on the face of a duct okay so let's try this one so i changed that to attaches to and let's try to load into project okay so to our project okay override okay so let's try it so let's select this right click create similar and let's click as you can see it's only attaching to the face of our duct okay so for this reason it is important that the family is set to the correct category and part type that is the reason why i am showing you this option here okay so every time you create a family make sure the family category is correct as well as the part type especially if that is a mechanical plumbing uh, piping fire family okay so hopefully you learned something from this uh, quick video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day